Hi, so my name's Charlie Atkinson, I'm your current VP Education and first of all I want to say well done to get into the end of what's been quite a tough academic year. Now's the sort of time you'll be starting to get your results and that also means we're starting to go into appeal season if you're maybe not quite happy with them. So to talk you through this a bit more I'm going to hand you over to our advice team and first to our advice centre manager Julie. Thank you Charlie. I'm Julie, I'm one of the advisors. Today, my colleagues Joe and Lisa are going to give an overview of a typical inquiry that we receive from students each year. Um, so I'm now going to hand you over to Joe and Lisa. Hi Joe. Hi Lisa. I'm so upset, my results are absolutely awful. What can I do? Well, it's important to remember that all marks are provisional until they've been confirmed by the Award Assessment Board and you get your confirmed results. They were published today. I'm really upset. I'm just worried and stressed by all of this. Well, here in the Advice Centre, we can talk to you about the possibility of submitting an appeal. Oh, that's amazing. What do I need to do? Well, first, we need to look at your transcript to see what, the deci what decision the Award Assessment Board has made and when your appeal deadline is. Then we need to find out if you have grounds of appeal. Grounds of appeal? What's that? Well, you can't submit an appeal just because you're disappointed with your marks or because you don't agree with the marks given to your work. That's called questioning academic judgment and it's not the basis on which an appeal can be made. So what does count as valid grounds for appeal? Well, if we can show that the university did not follow its own policies and procedures, then that would be the basis for a valid appeal. And in certain circumstances, you can appeal if you didn't apply for ECs at the correct time and you have good evidence to show why you didn't. So, for example, if you were suffering from severe depression and not engaging with your course in any way, and you have a medical letter to confirm that this was the case, you could ask for this to be taken into account at appeal. OK, so if my appeal is successful, will my marks be changed? No, a successful appeal will never change your marks but you could be given an opportunity to attempt the module or the element of the module again. Will you be able to help me write my appeal? Unfortunately not, this is not something we can do, but we will be happy to read through your draft appeal and offer our suggestions to improve it if it's necessary. Okay, so I've had a really hard year. I've lost my job due to COVID. Will the university take this into account? The university has already put in place a lot of measures to take account of COVID, and so appeals based purely on COVID are not likely to be successful. The appeals panel will not take personal issues such as your finances into account, as this is not relevant to an academic appeal. Okay, I feel that the way the teaching's been delivered this year has put me at a real disadvantage and affected how well I've performed. Well, as I've explained, the university did put amended ECs in place for students who felt they were not able to perform as well as, as a result of the current situation. You can submit a separate complaint to the university about the delivery of teaching if you wish. And if this is included in your appeal, the university will address the complaint issue first and will then look at your appeal. So there could be a delay. OK, so what should I do now? Well, we, we suggest you complete the appeal form and send a draft copy to us. And once you're happy with it, you need to submit it to the appeals department by the deadline. What happens if I miss the deadline? Well, you can submit an out-of-time appeal, but there has to be a very good reason for it being late, and you have to have evidence to support why it's out of time. OK, what if I'm not happy with my degree classification? Well, you can submit an appeal if you think your de degree classification is not right. Um, degree classification is worked out according to a set formula in the academic regulations. Um, and there are circumstances where the marks can be rounded up, but you'll need to show how that <coughs> should be applied to your circumstances. What happens if my appeal's declined and I'm not happy with the university's decision? You do have a further right of appeal to the OIA, that's the Office of the Independent Adjudicator. They are, indepe they are an independent organisation overseeing decisions made by the universities. We will be able to give you guidance on taking your case to the OIA if it's necessary. OK, thank you, Jo. My pleasure, Lisa. Thank you, Jo and Lisa. Hopefully that will give you an overview of what we as advisors see and what we can do to support you when you receive your transcripts. The advice team are available all through the summer 
and we're able to offer advice in terms of what you can do to support your appeal. It would be helpful, as Jo mentioned, if you could forward through a copy of your transcript when you receive it, as this will help us as advisors to best support you. Typically, transcripts are released in July. However, we are aware that there are some programmes that release transcripts early, for example, like the dental school, maybe in June. Therefore, you have 10 working days from the date of receipt of your transcript. We would always ask that you check with your faculty admin to ensure that you get the correct date and that will enable you to actually seek the support should you wish to appeal your decision. On behalf of Jo and Lisa, I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking you for joining us in this short presentation and we wish you well when you get your transcripts. Charlie. Thank you and again, I hope everything goes well and sort of you get in contact with the advice team if you need it. And as the advice team said, the sabbatical officers are also available all the way through the summer if you need us to support you or for any representation issues. Thank you.